What should I do? If I don't do something, he'll... Huh? What's this? I'm... receptive? To that art? And to you? Spooky! Kinda sus, not gonna lie, etc, etc. Uh, where am I? Take it easy, Velvet. You've been out for three days. Three days?! And that's three days wasted. What's the situation? Well, let's see. For one thing, Grimoire's been deciphering that ancient book. She says that this new copy is complete. All the pages we were missing are there. As for the dogs, Kamawana's taken a real shine to them. All right then. Now we just need to find that last Therian. Velvet, no! I said take it easy. Seriously. Oh, hold on. Have you not had anything to eat? Um, well, I just thought, since you hadn't either... Are you serious? Why would you do a full thing like that? You'll die if you don't eat. Actually, I... He won't die if he doesn't eat. Malakim don't actually depend on food for sustenance. If they do eat, it's only as a quirky hobby. All right, if you're sure. If you feel like going hungry, it's your life. But there's no sense in doing it on my account. Huh. Good to see you're feeling better again. As you probably noticed, we made it back to Titania already. Sorry to keep you all waiting on me. Get everyone together. We meet now. <sighs> well, that could have gone better. I just... wanted to better understand the hardships Velvet's suffering through. It seems unfair for her to bear all of it alone. Hmm. Well, she's... how can I put it? A very straightforward kind of person. But nothing gets under her skin like a clumsy display of sympathy. What should I do about her then? For now, just get something in your tummy. Any good warrior knows you eat when you have the chance. Even Malakim have more strength on a full stomach than an empty one, don't they? Yeah. It's true. Food will fill an empty stomach. But what is there to fill an empty heart, I wonder? Hard food. It's gotta be hard food, right? It's gotta be hard food. Is this another class four island already? Are they giving me one back to back? I haven't seen many Abbey patrol ships around here of late. I noticed that too. Do you think something happened? The Blood Wings said the Abbey's been quiet everywhere. Apparently some bad demons and a cursed pirate crew have been giving them trouble. And they can't spare the men to patrol the outer seas. That's Eifried's pirates for ya. Always gathering information and keeping on their guard. A cursed pirate crew? Isn't that us? If the info's sound, we've really made a name for ourselves. <laughs> Abby ships run and hide when they see us coming. Reason dictates that we avoid hopeless fights. Ooh, Shepard Arturius, you're my hero. <laughs> if only our enemies were truly that dumb. Sadly, the world isn't that forgiving. We can't drop our guard. Aye. I've contacted some fishermen friends of mine. They'll let us know if they notice anything fishy. We've got the first mate's curse to deal with. We can never be too careful. Yeah, with that reaper's curse hanging over us, we don't have room to relax. <laughs> well, at least they're not too bothered by it. Yar har, mateys. How do you do, fellow pirates? Time for some grub, Laffy Set. What are you hungry for? Hmm. I'll have some stuffed giant squid. Or prison crab dumplings. Or sea snake bowl! It's your first meal in three days, right? Better stick with something mild or you'll be sorry. How about a risotto or a vegetable rice soup? That could be nice. I could go for some borscht or shark fin and egg soup. For dessert? I'll have a sweet bean and jelly fruit cup, a giant parfait, and a triple berry cake! Zip it, Mogilu. Oh well, I'm getting full just thinking about it. I think I'd like some rice porridge, with a pickled plum and baby sardines on top. Ooh, an austere choice. And an apple. In that case, you should have some apple boo. Apple boo? 
What on earth is that? It's just grated apples. But when my brother wasn't feeling well, I often fed it to him. I think I'd like to try some. If you insist, I'll make some for you. At least it's something I can make without needing to taste it. Okay. I insist. Okay. If you're already making some, I'd like... Zip it, Mogilu. <laughs> you get her, Rokuro. Okay, Fee. I need you to find us our next Earth Pulse Point. I found one, but it's really, really far. Way up in the northeast. Hmm. If it's that far out, it has to be an Engand. Engand is a collection of small islands. There's a comparatively bigger one called Lionel Island, but that's the exception. Yeah, I think the Earth Pulse Point's probably out there. Engand, huh? Those waters are haunted by ghost ships, you know. Ghost ships? Yep. Legend has it they snatch up wrongdoers who bear lingering regrets and whisk them away to that eternal voyage. That doesn't sound promising. Currents from all over the world converge in Engen's waters, so a lot of shipwrecks from distant seas end up there as their final resting place. Uh-huh. Ah. So that's where the stories of ghost ships come from. Boo, you guys have no imagination. I'd rather they stay imaginary myself. We should still be careful. We'll be fine. Ghost ship, exorcist, whatever comes along. We'll be the ones to administer their last rites. Ooh, baby, Endgand. Some wild stuff gonna be going down in Endgand. Just one Therian to go. When I escaped, Ceres told me that Artorias could still be killed. That means she must have known everything. That he know me not is incomplete. How Therians work. But why did she betray Artorias? Why did she give me her strength? I know that try as you might, some fires can never fully be extinguished. But what made you go so far as to feed yourself to me? Tell me, why did you do it, sis? Oh, what am I saying? Ceres was a Moloch. Just a Moloch. Just focus on what has to be done. Once the Therians are all together, I can end this. That's all that matters. That's all I need to think about. What's the plan when all the Therians are together? Are you gonna like, are they like the Dragon Balls? Are you gonna summon Shenron and be like, please kill Artorius? The currents around Ingan are naughty, all right. It's a dreadful place to sail. Not that the Von Eltia can't handle it, of course. I think Endgan has its own unique dire enemy? Maybe? I can't remember. I ate enough. Nice seed, that's all right then. Okay, good talk, good talk. Well, my belly is full, I'm ready to go anytime. Is it time to depart already? Don't you think you should rest a little longer? They say the Phantom Fleet carries guilty souls away. If we cross its path, I'll be lonely when you're all taken. You looking pale, Velvet? Take care of yourself, all right? Bien! Bien! Gotta talk to Medissa, huh? But if I talk to Medissa, I might have to talk to Kamoana, and that's a fate worse than death. Aw, come on! It's fine! No, it's not. You have to do it right. You're so mean, Medissa! If you keep telling me what to do, I'll hate you! Fine, hate me then. So long as you do what I say. Fine! Uh, I love you, Medissa, and you don't even care! Uh, what's going on here? Eleanor, Medissa's being mean. She keeps telling me to dry my hair after my bath, but I don't wanna. What? Is that all you're arguing about? This is important. Just because she's a Therian doesn't mean she can't catch a cold. But I won't! I won't catch a cold! I swear! I don't want to take Mom's yucky, awful medicine, so I'm not gonna get sick. If you insist on being so stubborn, we can do this the hard way. There's no need for everyone to get so worked up. Her hair's pretty much dry already, right? Yeah, what she said! <sighs> I'm spoiling her, aren't I? Seriously. 
Look, we don't even know what would happen if Etherian catches a cold, let alone how to treat it. That's true. But look, I get it. I know you feel responsible for her. You mean, what happened to her mother? Yeah. Lafayette told me about it. My, my. Look who's a little tattletale. I'm sorry. But I thought Medissa should know, just in case. It's fine, I suppose. I should have told her myself. Well, at least I understand everything now. It's all too tragic for words. Yes. And the knowledge would not be something that a young child could possibly bear. I'm not planning on telling her. That's probably your only option. But do you really think you can keep lying to her forever? I have to. For her own sake. For her, huh? All right. I'll go with you on this. You two are going through an awful lot of trouble for a selfish kid. All kids are selfish. They're selfish. But that's what their families and their mothers should be there for. Don't you have any memories like that yourself? Sorry, but I'd rather just keep them to myself. Pish and piffle. Everybody and their issues, am I right? People having feelings and tragic backstories and... Ah, it's just all a lot of the hullabaloo. Just one Therian left, stay on your toes. The Abbey will be desperate at this point. Yeah, probably. Don't worry, the hideout is in safe hands with me. My friends used to call me the king of odd jobs. They also called me the king of loafing, but let's not dwell on that, shall we? Why would you bring it up? How close am I to an expedition return? Okay, let's wait for the expedition to return because I think we might get some cutscenes in here. I was just thinking to myself like, man, hasn't it been a minute since the last expedition return? Where's that at? do that real quick before it uh, hits us with a cutscene or two potentially it's still really that long time is so slow except for when I want it to be fast or except for when I want it to be slow I said that wrong don't talk to me I said the the antonym of what I actually wanted to say it's Take returned all right, yeah. Let's do this one run get you style, guys. I love Rokuro. I feel like his expedition ability is the most useless. <laughs> hey, Critian Archipelago. Critian sounds familiar. We did not get the special from Kresnik Isle. This hidden island can only be reached when the brave Vesperia star is shining the way. Okay, well, I think it's a Tales of Vesperia reference. Its residents revere a hound called the Demon Dog. I don't remember what Demon Dog has to do with Vesperia. We're going to keep doing Kresnik until we get the special item from it, though. You know, I've started to get used to this island. It's a regular den of hyenas, isn't it? Well, we could actually go to a couple of other places if we wanted to. Is there anywhere I would want to go to do anything? There's a question mark area over there in... In, uh, is this Midgand? Yeah, in Midgand. There's a place I just, like, a, a dungeon I never went to, I guess. Is there anything I'd want to go do before going to Endgand? Oh, wow, it's way out there. Small dock in the remote and unpopulated region of Endgand. Minimally outfitted and intended for use only in emergencies. Because when we go to Endgand, we're going to be doing story stuff for a good while... We can't go to Yasult for some reason. Weird. Ah, eh, let's just go to Ingan. It'll be fine. I like to watch the ship go when we're going to a new area. I love the way that they have the ships stop at other ports. Like you would expect a ship to. Ah. Oh. Van Eltia music. We're coming up on Lionel Island. So much for the ghost ships. Should we expect another welcome party waiting for us again? No. I had the Blood Wings spread a rumor that we were raiding an Abbey compound far, far from here. As far as plans go, that's better than nothing. <laughs> All this cloak and dagger. Give me a good old frontal assault any day. First mate, sir. There's a ship drifting ahead of us. A ghost ship? It's an Abbey ship. Their flag. It's a distress signal. Understood. Commence approach. Are you actually going to help an enemy ship? A ship signaling distress has neither allies nor enemies. 
That's a code all seafarers abide by. It's an obvious trap. Not even pirates would use a distress signal for a surprise attack. Of course, after we rescue a ship, we still strip them of everything they've got. Anyway, if it's a trap, we'll kill everyone on board. Simple. Easy. <sighs> a waste of time if you ask me. I don't think he asked you. Is this... the Corsair Scourge? Benwick, do we still have any Salatoma left? Yes, sir. If this is their full crew, we should have enough on board to treat them. Now that you mention it, don't Abbey ships usually have a bigger crew? These were all who were aboard when I hijacked the ship and made them set sail. Teresa! I knew I was being reckless, but I never expected we'd run afoul of the Corsair Scourge. But you know, I'm glad we did, since it brought me to you. You seriously plan to fight in that condition? No, no. I know you've won this one. Use me as you will. Use you? Don't bother asking. It's a trap. Lionel Island is where you'll find Dees. Hetharian. My brother Oscar is guarding over it. We can handle him just fine. You should know that Oscar's acquired a powerful new art. It's formula developed by Lord Melchior. The art heightens a Moloch's power far beyond its normal limits. The effect is incredible. Normal arts don't even compare. Even were you to win, you wouldn't come away unscathed. Why are you telling us this? The art is still untested and imperfect. There's no guarantee its caster will survive the effects. I don't want anything to happen to Oscar. If I'm your hostage, Oscar won't move against you. This will afford you a window to snatch the Therian and make your escape. You're willing to betray the Abbey? There's nothing in this world that could ever replace Oscar. I know you can't trust me, so don't give me your medicine. I'll place my life in your hands. Just save Oscar. Lady Teresa! If true, this information will be of use to us. For now, let's bring her aboard and give her the medicine. 